This is Pastor Marquise Franklin from New Creation Christian Center presenting to you a word for today by Annis Fay. We pray that these short devotionals will impact your life. Now let's tune in. First relationship you can have with a child and a father is for that child to always be afraid of you. I mean, and there's some of us that have had relationships where all we were, all we did was we were afraid of our father. When our father got home, we, we went the other way. We didn't want anything to do with it. Why? Because this person brought fear in our heart. And because there was this terror, terror or terrifying, maybe it had nothing to do with what he did or what he said, it was just we were afraid of him. And there was no relationship in fear. So he's not talking about being afraid of God because and that's why I read James. It says, draw near to God, and he will what? Draw near to you. So you can't draw near to somebody that you're afraid of. You're not going to draw near to somebody that brings fear to you in your heart. It's like, no. Even if you wanted to, you'd say, well, maybe I'll wait for a better day. <laughs> maybe I'll wait until he's in a better mood, and then I'll ask him. But God wants us to respect him, honor him, reverence him. And once we learn to honor and reverence and respect God, then we understand how God loves us. The world doesn't have a respect for God. That's why they say the things that they say about God. They say stuff like, well, you know, who wants to serve a God who always wants to judge you? That's because they don't understand. They haven't gotten the respect of God in their mind and the honor of God. Just like once you understand how your father was raised, his background and what he went through, and then all the things that he is today, then you can have a greater appreciation of who he is and what he does. Even though he's imperfect, you can understand, well, okay, he went through these hard times as a, as a young person. He went through some hard times. I can have compassion on him because now I understand him. Now, God doesn't need us to have compassion on him. But we need to understand that God loves us. God is not in the business of punishment. He's in the business of redemption. Amen? So this is the kind, the one, the one kind of fear. The reverence, the, the appreciation, the respect, the uh, adoration. And the second fear is, is in the ones that we see all the time. So let's go to 1 John chapter 4, 8, verse 18. So 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect fear Perfect love, excuse me, cast out fear. Because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. So now notice how he uses fear in contrast to love. If you fear God, you can't love God. You're afraid of it. There's no, you can't, you can't perfect your love for him because there's always this fear of God. If you go back to the story of Moses, the children of Israel were afraid of God. Literally, they were, they were, you know, God spoke and they were, oh boy, no, no, Moses, don't stop, stop, please stop. We'll do whatever you say, but please tell God to stop talking because we don't want to die. So they were afraid of God. But Moses was, was not afraid of God. Amen? Not only did Moses not want to just continue to hear God's voice, Moses went up to the mountain to hear some more. <laughs> he couldn't get enough. He says, and God said, I'm not going with you, Moses. He said, well, if you're not going, I'm not going. <laughs> so Lord, if you don't go, I don't want to go. I don't want to be a part of anything that you're not a part of. Because Moses, was, his love was perfected. He was not afraid of God because he got to know God. He got to spend time with God. Moses was so much in, in love with God. He said, God, can you just do me a favor? He says, what's that, Moses? Can I see your glory? Can I just see you? 
I mean, I hear you, or we talk all the time, but can I see you? I mean, that, that's not somebody that's afraid of anybody, right? I mean, that's somebody that wants to get more and more. He can't get enough. And God, even though God said, well, you can't see my face, but I'll show you my back. <laughs> and he saw his back, and then Moses came down, and his face was shining, and the people didn't want to see his face. <laughs> but that's how God wants us to be towards him. And he says here, if we fear, love can't be perfected. And the Bible says, God is what? Love. So that says that if we're afraid of God, the love of God can't be perfected in us because we've got to get that fear. Fear and love don't go together. We pray that this message has encouraged you today. And we invite you to join us Saturday nights at 7 p.m. in the Emerald City Bible Fellowship Building located at 7728 Rainer Avenue South, Seattle, Washington, 98118. Once again, that's Saturday nights at 7 at 7728 Rainer Avenue South, Seattle, Washington, 98118. If you have any prayer requests, comments, or questions, visit our website, newcreationwa.org. And on there, we have our links to our Facebook and Twitter sites as well. We would love to hear from you. God bless you.